Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, finally we're gonna continue with the Army of Satan series. Today, part 10, Magic, the Global Project Illuminati Agenda. Guys, I got many comments that you want me to continue the Army of Satan series. However, only if you like and share the video, the algorithm picks it up. So please do me the favor. If you enjoy the videos, leave them a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below. All right, guys, with no further ado, let's have a look. Different types of magic. What about the ruling of this pretend magic? What about buying your kids a little, you know, box set on how to do little magic tricks and make the card disappear and pick a card, any card? In reality, this is something without a shadow of a doubt, which is very haram. Why? Because I come from an Orthodox Christian background and back then I read many, many books of church fathers condemning magic altogether. Such things as Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings and whatnot are very famous, especially amongst children. However, all of them are absolutely prohibited for believing people. Imitating the magicians, it makes somebody love magic, it exactly. makes them love magicians, it makes them encouraged towards practicing it. Sure. And at the end of the day, it shows a kind of a a kind of a affinity and a kind of a love towards yeah. magicians and it is a step towards practicing real magic so it's not permissible for people to buy yes absolutely and moreover this takes away the attention of the kids of god and onto that magic onto the magician they're looking at harry potter instead of looking at the prophets and their miracles other forms of knowledge that are related to magic that have the same ruling fortune telling Soothsaying, sure. reading the tea leaves, reading the palms, astrology, a diviner or a seer, someone who says that I can, my car got stolen, I can tell you where your car got stolen, who's got it, I can tell you uh, who did this, I can, you know, somebody, uh, you know, somebody broke your window last night, I can tell you who it is. As I mentioned previously, my wife comes from Senegal and Senegal is predominantly Muslim. However, they have a lot of seers in Senegal that mix Islam with fortune telling, for example. And that being said, we have the same on the Balkans. On the Balkans, it is predominantly Christian, but we have some Muslims as well, of course. And in both camps, you see people go into seers. All of these things together. So-called seers. Are uh, under the, the ruling of magic and everything that I've said applies to them. What about these people we see on TV? What about David Blaine? What about Chris Angel and all of these people that are seen on TV? Uh, and what is the ruling of watching them? It is said that some of these people use tricks of the camera and tricks of the studio and computer generated graphics to do what they do. Even if this is true, it would be haram to watch them. But from my experience and what limited knowledge I have and Allahu A'lam, it seems to me that these people are genuinely engaged in magic. And it is very clear that the description of the magician applies very closely to them. And many of the tricks they do cannot be explained away by tricks of the television. Even if they were tricks of the television, it would not be permissible for you because this would be something that is showing love towards the magicians, imitating the magicians, loving the people who hate Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sure. So I would put them into the same category like Hollywood magic movies. I don't think they're real magicians. Not be permissible not. anyways, but it seems that they are genuinely magicians, the majority of them, and no. it is extremely, extremely serious to watch them. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever goes to a fortune teller and asks a question, his salah will not be accepted for 40 days. And whoever believes in what they say has disbelieved in that which was revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Watching a magician on TV According to the opinion of most, if not all, of the scholars who have answered this question, watching a magician reading your horoscopes makes you from the people whose salah is not accepted for 40 days. Believing in what you read makes you a disbeliever who has left the religion of Islam. Watching someone like this on TV, your salah is not accepted for 40 days. Wallahu a'lam. Believing in their magic and the way that they do things and their power, you leave Islam. 
So it is a very, very, very serious. I mean, obviously I'm not a scholar, but I would believe that this depends on what you mean when you say believing in their powers. Because we do know that magicians exist and most of the time jinns do perform their magic for them on their behalf, so to speak. So this is something that is commonly known. And to say, yes, I do know that this exists, I believe doesn't bring you out of the fold of Islam. However, subscribing to their ideas and investing into magic, of course, would kick you all of Islam. Serious, serious thing to do. Why do people engage in magic? To get a benefit, a perceived Sometimes benefit. Sometimes people are lured into practicing magic because they enter into things like, for example, they get involved in tricks, tricks of the hand. Maybe it's a simple putting something under the sleeve and it comes out of the other side and then they want more like a drug addict. More and more. It's not enough to simply make a coin disappear in their hand and appear in the other hand then it has to be more and more and more until they go into things, maybe perhaps they go into a Ouija board or something like this, which involves calling upon the shaitan. And then once the shaitan gets hold of them, they go into- Thank God, man. Some kids back in the day had Ouija boards and they always invited me to play with it. I never did it. Some people are never. lured innocently into the then. practice of I magic knew. by reading books in which it says, try this, this is a particularly good thing. This will make your wife love you. This will make your what? husband love you. This will- If your wife and your husband doesn't love you, what do they do with you in the first place? Make your enemies hate you. This will destroy your enemies. Write these things, say these things, okay. do these actions. That's a bit so weird. people come into magic in different ways. Some of them follow their desires for richness, for fame, for sure. wealth. Some of them uh, are, overcome by their desires for the world like we're going to hear in a little while some of them are lured by tadarruj by steps by you know step by step they begin by something light they begin by tricks they begin by potions and then they get into worse and worse and worse until they enter into real magic and sometimes people find this information in books and they mistakenly believe it to be something beneficial and something good and once they get involved in it the shaitan gets yeah basically they get into it because of a promise to their desires their desires to be fulfilled be it riches be it fame be it a certain benefit love etc etc you name it people fall into the trap because they believe they can gain something hold of them That's and always once the, the shaitan gets hold of them they begin to enter into real magic right Today, the elite are spending millions of dollars on TV shows like America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, Magic Biggest Secrets, which are all about magic and illusion. Sure. Indeed, they invest on promoting magic and making people love it. And through this project, they want to encourage you to accept that a human being can reach a level of having supernatural power or godly power. Yes, absolutely. And this is a false religion, of course. We see that with Avenger movies, for example, superhero movies. It is exactly the same thing. Because nowadays, people are focused on to people that have certain powers that are certain gods. And this is literally paganism. Because back in the day, the ancient Greeks, for example, or the Romans, believed in exactly that, people that have power. The following video is an example out of thousands of TV shows which promote magic. Look what is the agenda behind these TV shows. Because we are human, <laughs> we all have a pyramid, eh? special heads. Our Ooh. intelligence allows us to be masters of our universe. <laughs> Very theatralic, dramatic. Yep. It's so ridiculous, man. That's it. And as a result, huge masses are following these magicians and accepting them as their idols. Guess what happens when Dajjal, the greatest illusionist magician, comes and claims that he is God with his fake miracles. Of course, people will fall for it. People will fall for way less than the Dajjal, you see it already, they fall for anything. They fall for fast food, for porn, TV, anything. What is Kabbalah? Jewish mysticism, that is. 
Kabbalah is an ancient Jewish magic which is nowadays widely practiced by the elite, Illuminati members. They use signs and numbers to communicate with the jinn and by using these signs and numbers they also show their obedience to their master Iblis in the great event. <laughs> That's numerology. A lot of what's happening today is in this realm. And it's very difficult for people to understand this. But when you study it, what you find is that the, the people Yusuf, huh? that a lot of the people involved in mass uh, control are actually heavily involved in this science. And that, that's what you find out. Uh, when you do the research. Uh, many of the people that are involved in film, many of the people involved in music, many of the people that are uh, involved in uh, newscasting, they yeah, know Hollywood. how to manipulate uh, the minds of people. And whether it's done with this type of magic or simply with the power of technology and the higher magic, the result is the same. You get people that are uh, as if they're possessed. It's very strange that they place these satellites at 22,000 because those are their numbers, 11, 22, 33. They like multiples of 11 and things like this. So I don't know. I mean, we're all trying to work this thing out, aren't we? But uh, these things are real and jadu, whatever you want to call it, it's real. In the last few years, it's become much clearer to me how much this is actually a force working in the world. And, and it makes much more sense to me now why there are so there many is. hadiths and so many protective du'as against this stuff. You know, this is evil. And also, you know, the, these, the, the influences of the demons. The Prophet said, or that they should become present. You know, so the demonic realm is real. And there are people, unfortunately, that are actively involved in attempting to bring that realm into this realm. And this is where it gets very strange. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. To wrap it up, we can clearly see that this is about the desires of men. We find this in the Quran as well. The Quran states that, have you seen he who has made his desires his God? Ultimately, people worship their own desires, and from there on, on, they become corruptible. It is the same thing that happened on the Jeffrey Epstein Island. People became corrupted through them following their passions, following their desires. And this is just human nature. This happens already in China. Childhood. Do you want one candy or do you want two? Maybe you want three, four, five, etc., etc., you name it, until you become the fat kid. It is always the same. People don't know where to stop. And this is why Islam teaches, of course, prevention. In this case here, people are being lured in with certain illusions, with certain tricks, but moreover, indirectly, worshipping those heroes. As I mentioned, be it Harry Potter or be it the Avengers, certain superheroes. You're directing your focus onto humans that have certain powers, quote unquote. Like that, of course, you forget that all the power lays within God's hands. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <laughs>